So if you guys are loving and taking care of yourselves, I had such a shaky morning this morning. Like I was literally going to be the latest I've ever been for my driving lessons. But thank heavens, my instructor actually cancelled the lesson. So no driving school today, no driving school tomorrow because tomorrow is Women's Day. And shout out to South Africa for actually recognizing the day so much so that it's a holiday. So I get to stay at home. Well, actually... I don't know, I might go out tomorrow, I'm not sure. But anyways, on today's agenda, because we're taking life one day at a time on today's agenda, I actually have a, a YouTube black class now from like 12 to 1, it's online. So I'm going to be eating and I'm also going to do my makeup because at 2... I'm super excited. As you can already see, I'm going for lunch with B and we're also going book shopping. I literally haven't... The last time I completed a book was probably in April. Like, your girl just graduated and suddenly felt like she was too good for books. <laughs> so I want to get back on my Zoom with books and everything. So I am going to go shop for books. Super excited about that. But for now, let me actually join my class. I feel like I'm late. Am I late? Clarissa, what is going on today? Like, nicely, nicely, what's going on today? Um, okay, let me go for my class. History making day on my channel because I literally don't think I've ever said this before but I actually like my makeup today. You guys know I'm always crying, oh my god, I don't like how my makeup came out. Today I'm actually giving myself my flowers, like, I actually like her, she's not too bad at all. But anyways, I am about to head over to go see B at Maro's Arc. Um, for a little book lunch date thingy thingy thing, which I'm excited about. You guys know my clothes are in storage so literally i just i'm just rotating the same three jackets <laughs> and nothing is cute because it's giving where are your clothes My girl, we just, actually I'm lying, I was about to say we just arrived, we've been here and we've just been <laughs> we, talking. We literally got in here, like how are you doing? Yes. Let's, <laughs> let's unpack. Let's unpack. The therapy session started, everything literally. just like went up. But anyways, now our starters are here. Yeah. She has wings. I which she ordered wings. by mistake. I even know, girl. <laughs> B does not eat chili at all. I got sushi, you guys know I'm a sushi babe. And I have my orange juice. Cheers. Cheers. I know that's fine. Fanta, you guys already know. Period. If it's not Fanta, then what? what With, what's your CB? What you, you already know it's Fanta. <laughs> so we're gonna have our starters now and um, do a little TikTok. I'm gonna yes, get TikTok girl. ready. <laughs> I've been saying I'm coming to TikTok. I'm coming to TikTok. No, but now I'm so like, bad. I seriously need to Please. come to TikTok.
friends as I want to have. Exactly, like, no like, save. After the conversations, you're feeling inspired in your career, in school, in, in everything. everything and I'm just like, in life. Let's go dream. Like, let's no, go right back dream. at you because, yeah. like, like I was saying, I was just telling her that, like, for me, it's intention. Yeah, yeah. I love how we're like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, talking in each other. Literally, literally. Okay, hi guys, hi, hi guys. guys. <laughs> I was saying, I just love how everything this year has been with intention. So yeah. even meeting up with her just feels so like it feels like I needed this. That's so. Then you meet someone in your yeah. life. Yeah, needed like that, this. needed that, and we're growing, guys. I love that. Like, Period. We're evolving, and Period. I have to. And we're both ones. witnessing it in yeah. each other, so that's yeah. beautiful. Anyway. Shout out friendship, highly recommend. Period. Cause it's a drink from and when we arrived. That is so insane. You didn't even finish it. <laughs> Same <Sorry>. on you. <laughs> Getting this one, and now because she said that one, I feel like <laughs> I might get it. Let me actually put this here for now. No, I'm interested. Um, no, but that one's good. That one was good. The golden yeah. pieces. Even the covers just from. already so. Is there that anything one looks cool as well. Things we hide from, but none of us are that um, tall. I've I've read. Um, it's a it's a it's a loose. Not me saying, can you see? <laughs> yes, it says Lucy. Yes, it's this. So there's a book before that one uh -huh. called. It was so good. Guys, why do I have such a brain? No, but also, I think I wouldn't. I'm like you. Like, yes. <laughs> I'll remember, but then I forget the story. Then I was me. like, you know, I was. No, but I actually had something deep about it because I was like wondering if like I'm losing like my short term. Oh my word! Because I was like, crazy. after I read a book, I don't yes. remember like after a month. Like, yes. Uh, but I'm you not, know because I'm reading a lot. Like you know, it started to freak that's me out. That's crazy. No, because literally, I remember the book before because I think that's like a sequel yeah. to the first book. Yeah. And the first book, I literally was like, the book is so good, but I don't remember like exactly what it was about just, or whatever. Exactly. Like, was even this. I'm like, oh yeah. I remember we also read so this good. book. No, guys, I thought I was going crazy. I actually thought I was going crazy. We've actually read a lot. We've read a lot. Finally, mine. Ah, oh, you know, sometimes I like a good... I like a good romance book. I won't lie. I'm a sucker for romance. One final letter, his last wish. Yeah, no, I'm also getting this. Okay, <laughs> let's see. It's, no lie. it's a sad one. Guys, I'm trying to, like fall in love with love all over again so i don't want no toxic hey. love like i want to buy into that but it's the one. same broken souls no, but it's gonna be nice oh finally mine okay it but they're saying they like like come back to heal each other i hope they do <laughs> i hope it's like <laughs> are you sure it's giving the guy dies in the end yeah. <laughs> i just want to see what else is there because oh, i've see. seen which i've tried to reach read sorry or is that poor dad I don't know about the I don't know. I don't think that's what I need right now. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I'm trying to find something else. Like maybe like a, that makes sense. Finding your happiness. Not you influencing me, because I might just get one self help book. <laughs> but Lucy just I saw think, this. I, think this I get that. I saw this and I'm literally just judging by the cover, and I'm like, okay, this looks interesting. Okay, it went with me. Everything will be different. <laughs> We got our books. Yeah, I exactly. got two. I got three books. Two fiction, two fiction. one self help because I'm trying to be okay psychological <laughs> book because I'm trying to be an aware babe. Exactly. And then she got I one one fiction and yes. one like religious one. And our fiction books are the same, so yes. it's giving book club. Yay. Love that for us. <laughs> back it's about half five and you guys know when 
I've come back and I'm sitting and I'm comfortable. You already know it's whole o'clock. So this was money well spent though. Like shout out to B because she's the one who came up with the idea of like a cute little lunch, book shopping and all of that good stuff. And it just felt like such a warm space because I hadn't seen her this entire year. And to just have someone pour into your cup and you pour into theirs, like it's nothing short of amazing. But anyways, diving straight into my haul. So I did get three books and the first book I got is a fiction book we actually both got this book like we both got this um, The Last Letter by Rebecca Yarrows and the one thing that was captivating was the back because this summary is just like it's like the final letter like it's someone's final letter and mm, it's just giving spice it's giving drama I think it's a romance book so I'm really looking forward to it because I love me a good romance book like a roman romantic fiction is top tier i remember my colleen hoover days it was literally one book after the other after the other and i don't really like book tiktok even though most of these books are inspired by tiktok but then it's because i've seen them on pinterest not so much so that i've watched the tiktoks because i feel like book tiktok is very critical like you'll read a book that was amazing and you get onto tiktok and everyone is like oh it's just so typical and cliche and obnoxious and you're like <laughs> i enjoy the book my next book it is betrayal by leslie purse i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly um this one is more like one of those stories that keeps you on your toes from what i've read at the back it, it has like such a heavy plot that i only read this part i didn't read the rest of like the summary because sometimes i feel like this section also spoils the book for you so i don't really like i don't even watch movie trailers like i just want to get there and be shocked like first time so yeah that's about that and then finally this book was purely influenced by b because i do not read self-help books at all even though apparently this is more of a psychology book than a self-help book but then it, it's basically called what happened to you and it's about conversations on trauma resilience and healing it's by bruce and oprah and apparently this book is so deep that you have to be like journaling simultaneously simultaneously while reading the book and also like it's just very deep like if you're not ready mentally to like unpack childhood traumas and like those parts of you that you've really just closed and hidden away then this book is not for you and i just feel like i'm at a point in my life where i need something that's going to challenge me and i feel like as soon as they described it like that i'm like you know what i feel like this book is for me so anyways let me go take off my makeup oh guys i'm a little bit tired beautiful coffee beans little miss i don't eat breakfast food woke up craving some good crispy bacon eggs and a croissant and let's see that's what i'm having right now guys this orange juice was like fresh from the box like the box was sealed closed but i don't know it's just not giving fresh Okay, I think I'm tripping. But anyways, hey guys, so today, <laughs> today, today, this morning, woke up, having me a cute little breakfast, and, oh my word, guys, I need to call someone's principal. So, the story is, um, one of the coffee beans asked me to come and speak at her school, and I was literally, like, humbled and honored, like, oh my goodness, me? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And the date is getting closer and closer. And like, I got an email from the principal late last night. Like, okay, 
for me on this number to confirm because all along I had been communicating with her. So now, <laughs> this morning, like I got it late last night, then I just slept, right? Because I it was like right before I was sleeping, and I was like, okay, I'll call in the morning. So this morning I received a follow up email, and I'm like, yo, guys, this thing is actually serious. Like not like I thought it wasn't gonna be serious, but like I'm only deeping it now and. One thing about me in serious situations, I laugh. Hence, I'm like, <laughs> hey, Clarissa the girl. It's taking me back to high school whenever because I did public speaking. So I'm looking forward to it. I can't lie. I'm looking forward to it. So I just want to eat and then call him and be like, guys, I don't even remember the last time I spoke to someone's principal. Good morning, sir. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be there. <laughs> I don't even know why this is cracking me up so much, but it is. I'm already like feeling nostalgic about the whole thing. Like, I was head girl in high school, so I don't know, man. It's just like, oh my word, I'm going back to because I haven't been to my school since I left in 2018. I haven't been there. That's like five years now. Damn, that's crazy. I haven't been. To my own high school so it's the first time i'm stepping into any high school of any sort and i don't know because i've got so much to share with my own younger high school self like if i was to write a letter to her i'd have so much to say so to be entrusted to talk to these young girls for me it's a big thing like it's not anything i'm taking lightly i have actually been praying about it like god just um, give me the grace to talk to these girls give me the the words like you know how in the bible when jeremiah like when jeremiah when god blessed jeremiah's mouth to like equip him to speak um it's let's see the grace i'm praying for like god just equip me to impart you know to these girls to somehow in that 20 minute slot i've been given like make their lives better and inspire them to want better for themselves and know very well that they're deserving of it and to take care of themselves period but anyways i'm rambling and rambling let me quickly eat and then i will call because i got this email like an hour ago 30 minutes ago and it's about nine so in corporate world i feel like the day starts at nine but then in academic world because last year my job was in academics in academic world um the working day starts at like half six seven because that's when school starts so i'm not shocked that i got the email quite early but anyways let me eat quickly and then we'll call our principal <laughs> It's perfect here, but you will pick up there's a very positive energy and vibe in our school. That's beautiful. I'm just saying it to anyone, you know, uh, even in my work, and we are so blessed to work with these learners and to see how they're making headway and how they are committed. It is just sometimes, you know, just a, a total blessing to, to be working in such an environment. Thank you. Lovely day to you. Thank Same you. to you. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, wow, what he's got such beautiful energy. I don't know, guys. My principal was so, whew. <laughs> he was so like, you know, he was just so. You know, when you put a face mask on your face and you're just so tight, you can't even like smile. You can't laugh. You know, um, so I don't know, it's just, he's got such beautiful energy and for him to say that the, the, the learners at the school also have that same positive energy, I have absolutely no doubt. And the enthusiasm, like it's so nice, um, it's so nice to be invited to, to a place, right? So nice to be invited to a place. But I think the cherry on top is being welcomed and people receiving you with enthusiasm. I feel like that just creams the cake and um i'm looking forward to it like this is my first speaking engagement um when i went for my unilever event i did speak but that was scripted so i don't really say comes but then this is really just um people wanting me to come share knowledge and to be interested with like 
high school girls guys high school girls are a lot you guys already know so being trusted with such an audience is just like it warms my heart man so on today's agenda is to first look for an outfit like i could have easily picked something from my closet but like i mentioned most of my clothes are in storage so i'm literally on a rotation of about three four outfits of two of which are sweatpants and i can't be going to someone's school wearing sweatpants so I'm gonna look for something cute, something modest as well because tomorrow the baddie stays at home. Like, I need to look cute, look modest, look like a lady, you get me? And, um, come back, cook, get some laundry out of the way, and also go for young adults. Like, I'm trying to start going to more meetups outside of church again because, I don't know, I had stopped because, I don't know, I just feel like the best way to stay out of drama at church, at the workplace, at school, in life in general, is when people don't know you like that. So I just don't like people knowing me like that. And not even in a Beyonce way, but then just in the way of like, familiarity breeds disrespect. So when people don't know much about you, there's like nothing to to unpack and pull apart and talk about, if that makes sense. So <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know, put that aside because it also can't stop me from like fellowship and the bible does say that that's important so we have young adults later and i'm actually kind of excited about that we have a theme of like you're supposed to dress as a friend's character however sana me i don't watch friends so sorry to them but i'm not gonna be doing that i genuinely don't watch friends and yeah i don't know Plus, I only have two outfits, so that's my <laughs> that's my saving grace. But anyways, I'm rambling now. Let me call my Uber and let's go look for this outfit. I'm gonna take this one off because I don't know if it's because I'm not wearing accessories and shoes, but it's literally giving pajamas. Like, ugh, I don't know. I really know, absolutely not. Like it's so cold in the house and yet outside the weather is literally so perfect. But anyways, shopping was successful. I'm now going to cook. I'm making pasta and garlic bread. Nothing too hectic because I only have three hours before I have to be leaving the house for um, young adults. So I'm going to cook, do laundry and then we're out. leaving percentages grape tizer is literally the only drink that matters to me like i absolutely love it of course i also like the lychee from woolworths it's in the fridge but then like grape tizer is top two and not two but guys 
this pasta sauce actually disappointed me because I usually use the All Joy ones which you can get like a pick and pay and checkers. So I'm like, okay, what's Woolworths saying? Because the last time I used Woolworths pasta sauce was like in 2021. And it wasn't that good. So now it actually tastes good. I just don't really like the color because I was going for, you know, that red saucy pasta. Now my pasta looks dry. It's not, but it looks dry. And I feel like the way food looks is so important. So <laughs> it's a little miss aesthetic. So, but anyways, since I am single on this beautiful Sunday, guys, I'm supposed to be eating this sharing a meal with someone's son on this beautiful sunday like i get self-love and everything but then mm -mm, eating alone gets boring but anyways um i've actually started watching sweet magnolias shout out to zx shout out to zx online because um i saw her rave about it um on her stories not even once like many times and i'm like hmm let me hop on and i'm on episode episode five and i feel like it's the kind of show like i like like good sunday show like a good chill you know because there's this show which one of my friends suggested um i even forgot the name but then like sometimes i don't you know the insecures and that genre of series i absolutely hate watching those like when i just want to relax because i feel like there's too much going on now i'm eating i'm supposed to be watching sex scenes like it's just oh i don't know yeah i just know <laughs> I cannot like I literally I actually failed to watch Insecure because I felt like it was just you know what let me not hate on the show shout out to Issa Rae but then Insecure just wasn't for me period but anyways let me eat before my food gets cold and continue watching my show So I've just requested my Uber to go to church and I put this on. Yo, this thing can finally rest because I now have a coat. But I put this on because um, I'm leaving now. It's like about half three but then it actually starts at four and I'm not sure if it finishes at five or six. So I don't want to be cold. And yo, one thing about those people, they will turn on um, the air conditioner. So I really don't want to be freezing and stuff however i just had to like i actually wanted to leave like a little bit earlier but then i just got the thumbnail for today's video the one with reggie and manza and i don't know i'm just not i'm not content and the thumbnail was sent only today so i didn't want to be sending reverts to people on a sunday and i'm someone who i don't like going back and forth with people if i've already said something i won't say it twice i'll just do it myself so <laughs> i was um getting frames in the video to make my own thumbnail but anyways let me let me take this uber guy and tell him to come inside yo guys i'm so far from the gate and let's see when i was coming from the mall the Uber driver, he can see I'm carrying things and he wants to drop me outside and my pin is literally inside the estate. It's not at the gate. I was literally just like, guys, I need to, <laughs> you see why I need to get this license? You see, you get me. I literally, I need this license like yesterday. to my besties <laughs> guys i'm literally super excited like this is one of the most exciting things to happen to me this year like literally today is the day and it's about 
17 past 5. I've been up since before for getting all this together. But then I'm actually ready earlier than I anticipated. Which is good though because, I mean, I'm ready but not ready. Like I haven't dressed up and I haven't packed my bag. And I just want to make sure I have everything in my bag. Especially my iPad because that's where my talking points are. But all in all, this morning... A huge thank you to God as with every other morning but then this morning guys a huge thank you to God and also you guys because um, it's through you that I have this platform and I'm able to do such cool things like this and um, you know for other people it may not seem like a big deal because it's like a voluntary thing you know but then for me like whether I'm getting paid or I'm not getting paid getting to have people entrust you to impart what you know to them, I feel like is a big thing. And for God to have seen me worthy of this opportunity means he's ready to put me in my speaking bag. So cheers to the first of many. Um, shout out God. Shout out you guys once again. I am super excited. Like I haven't told anyone where I'm going. I haven't told my mom. I haven't told my sister. I haven't, I literally haven't, like no one knows, not even a friend. Because, I don't know, I just want to bask in this moment and I'm like, I'm still getting over it. Like, oh my goodness, Clarissa, you're going to school speaking to people's kids. Like, when did we get here? When did we get here? But then also uh, a huge shout out to Kanye because um, she's the one who actually hit me up with the email in the beginning. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting you. And thank you so much, Bestie, for also speaking so highly of me. Because your principal was like, yeah, you know, she spoke so highly of you. And I'm like, oh my goodness, coffee beans coming through. And it also just warms my heart. Like, this is someone who I've never met before. And, and you know, they hold me to such a high regard. And I just, oh man, Bestie, love you loads. So anyways, let me get dressed and let's go. Oh my word, guys, ways are actually a lot of work. Anyways, this is the fit. It's giving corporate baddie. It's giving executive. It's giving um, in my speaking bag, period. So, oh my word, you're uh -uh. <laughs> Tell me you're not a wig, you, tell me you're not a wig girly without telling me you're not a wig girly. But anyways, I got this coat from True Words yesterday for about 1K. And I got the pants from Mr. Price for 250. And I already had the top from Cotton On. And I'm so glad I didn't sell my bag because like, guys... It's just really giving. So I'm gonna actually throw on some heels right now. I am still wearing <laughs> I'm still wearing my morning shoes. So I'm gonna throw on some heels and you know what? We always do this, get carried away with vlogging when we actually woke up on time and then we end up being late. So I'm actually also gonna request my Uber now. But then like I clean up very well. Like don't even come for me. I literally clean up very well. It's it's giving first lady. I'm always telling Tati, like, oh my word, Tati, you're always giving first lady. Today is giving Tati. Today I look like a true Lebonza, guys. Period. Anyways, let me request and let's go. So I just arrived and I'm super excited. Um, I've met the principal. I've met my coffee bean. Oh my goodness, guys! This is the coffee bean. Hi. Who called me to grace them with her with my presence? Oh my goodness! Shout out to you. She's so cute. Also, Thank you. <laughs> not you being shy. And um, now. What are we waiting for? Yes, we right now, we are waiting for the head boy. Oh, okay. So now we're waiting for the head boy and the head girl to come through. And it's such a full circle moment because I'm like, guys, I was here. Like, once upon a time, <laughs> this was me. So it's such a full circle moment and I'm really looking forward to it. Today I woke up and as soon as I was leaving, hopping into the Uber, I'm like, Carissa, this literally feels like school. It feels like school days. But then, so be excited. Okay, so... Um, I just wanted to, I think I should start with the whole aim before I ask questions. Okay. So basically, the aim of 
the whole project was we wanted to do something for Women's Month um, as a social charity community. So this is basically like our last project of the year. Um, so previous years we've had speakers that have come for like Women's Month and stuff. But those speakers were like, um, they came to speak about like confidence as well as like um, self-defense moves for women and stuff like that. But I realized that we don't, we didn't have a speaker that came to speak about like self-care and feminine hygiene. We never spoken about that ever. So I was like, okay. Um, I was really scared at first. I'm like, am really? I gonna be able to pull this off? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Listen to her. <laughs> so then, after that, I was like, um, actually, one of my ESCO members, they were like, yes. why don't you do something like for the girls? Maybe to go at self care and hygiene. I'm like, yes. and I'm really big on self care and hygiene. I have like. Um, uh, YouTubers that I subscribe to that are yes. big on self And you did say in your initial email yes. that like... And I was like, like, that's something nice you can do for women, so I've never done that. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, who am I going to go for? And I knew, like, I have, like, top three um, favorite YouTubers, so I, I had to go for South Africans, obviously. Yes. And you are, like, top one. I'm like, I have to. <laughs> I don't make the rules. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm so humble. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so, so much. Yes, and then I was like, okay, let me let me take a leap of faith and email her yes. and ask her to join us. Yes. I was asking her questions as well. Okay. So, yeah. Um, the next question is, what's the meaning behind the name Coffee No Milk? So, Coffee No Milk, I even was like when I was... Um, putting together my talking points. I'm like, I have to explain this because I absolutely hate coffee, guys. Coffee no milk is solely because I'm a dark skinned babe. But then, oh. Oh. Yes. I hate coffee. Yeah. And then, when I go to Starbucks, I just get stuff for aesthetics, but then like, I'm really not a coffee person. Oh, okay. <laughs> what has been the experience being dark skinned in um, this type of industry? Definitely, I feel like you people as high school kids are very me. So in high school, I had such a tough experience um, being a dark skinned girl and like, you know, I feel like I'm pretty, and you guys are gonna hear this, you're gonna hear this again, at least you guys aren't gonna. But then um, I had such a tough experience, so I had low self esteem because of that. And then when I started the brand, period, <laughs> when I started the brand, I was like, um, you know what, this thing that I always was insecure about, let me make it my dad. You know, like, mm. exactly. That's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. Cause I was always like, what does coffee know? Coffee know? Well, that is so strange. Like, it's so funny because I meet some people who get it, and some people who are like, what? <laughs> yeah. And then the last question is, um, when did you start your whole self care journey? Ooh, okay, so self care journey was from as early as form four. I did school in Botswana. That's like your grades. Eight months, eight months, eight months. Your metric, basically. But then we do it in four years. So um, that's when I started. And for me, once again, pre editing my talking points. But then, like, I grew up um, in a not so privileged background as like, the people I was going to school with. Okay. So I would go as far as like saving my lunch money to like buy a face wash or buy just to, like buy these things, doing DIY, which I don't recommend right now. <laughs> mixing the honeys, the sugars, trying to make face masks and everything like that. So yeah. Okay, that's so interesting. Cause I've also like, I just started my self care hy like, hygiene journey. I like, like that. I think grade 11, grade yes. 11. I started watching YouTube videos. I'm like, yo guys. Say, that's how I also started yeah. just binging. I need to YouTube. upgrade because no, we need to look easy. Exactly. <laughs> Even just yeah. feeling, not even just looking, but even just feeling. Yes. Oh, Listen, okay. please say that again. Please say that again. Please say that again. <laughs> so basically, I really, I can already smell that you're Period. Period. Absolutely. No, but I'm so proud, guys. We've just been having a conversation with the head boys, the deputies, everybody in between, and I'm so proud of them. They have like such a cool. Hold on. 
such a cool um, campaign going on because I was head girl too, you guys know. So they have such a cool campaign going on um, for sanitary pads. And I'm like, Clarissa, what life-changing thing did you do? I think I was just wearing the uniform, looking cute, taking selfies. And that was literally just about it. So I'm super proud of them for like, at such a young age, being so concerned with things that actually matter because God knows at that age, guys, I was stressing about all the wrong things and people. Period. Good morning. Thank you, Will. Cast out the spirit of hatred, cast out the spirit of envy and indulge in the spirit of sisterhood, respect and support. I thank you all. I hope you learned so much. Um, Hey besties, thought I'd come here and let you guys know that what's about to play is just bits and pieces of my segment. I did speak for 20 minutes and there was no way I was going to insert the entire 20 minutes into this vlog. If you guys want to see the entire 20 minutes, invite me to your school. I'm just playing. But um, yeah, it's just my favorite highlights and not the entire segment. <laughs> Okay, so good morning to the deputy head, good morning to teachers present, and good morning to my besties! <laughs> oh my goodness, being here is such a full circle moment because I was sharing earlier that high school was such a huge part of my growth as the woman I am today, as the person I am today. So I'm just so happy to be here and so thankful to have the honor to impart the little I've learned from high school till now with my besties. There's anything everybody knows under the sun, especially because I'm here presenting myself to you guys as the big sister I wish I had in high school. So let's put in your belly button. I'm going to be candid here, guys. Growing up, I always had an outie. You guys know those belly buttons that are like just poking up. So I always had an outie and then around like um, form two, which is... I went to school in Botswana, by the way, so I'm still trying to align the grades with the forms. Form 2 is by grade 9, if I'm not mistaken. Um, my belly button started to go in. So, me, Clarissa, being Clarissa, it never occurred to me that you're supposed to get in there. You're supposed to clean there. So, like, for God knows how long, I was just washing and, like, passing by until I was binging self-care videos when I want to start my self-care journey and they're like, clean your belly, belly button and then I clean my belly button <laughs> it was scary it was very scary so <laughs> I'm not going to see if everybody knows that guys, clean your belly buttons and then my next tip what is my next tip? okay <laughs> my next tip is, guys I don't know why I'm getting shy because I'm never shy babe but then, guys, your booty, clean your booty. <laughs> clean your booty. And when I say clean your booty, I mean get in there. Like, it's your, it's your booty, so you need to get in there. Because I think a misconception... A misconception is that when you're showering, you're just showering, you're just washing the accessible parts. But let me tell you, those hidden corners are the most most responsible for BO, body odor, and all of those things that we don't want. So, clean your beauty besties. And then this one is for, I want to say my black girls, but then for everyone, because regardless you should be washing your hair, but then I'm making it specific to the black girls because I know when you have braids in, sometimes you leave them for the whole term. <laughs> I've been there, so it's a safe space, I've been there. And your braids are not supposed to smell. So besties, if you're smelling something <laughs> from your hair, then it means that it's time to either change them out or to wash them. There's so many videos on YouTube on how to wash your braids and still keep them neat. The last two, um, changing your pads and your panty liners, because especially for people with lighter flows, I know you think, oh no, this is for the heavy flow girls, but then as someone with a light flow, you can put on a pad in the morning and then you're waiting for it to get full. Don't wait for it to get full. 
at least, I don't, I don't want to put hours on it, but let's say two to four hours you're changing your pad, of course with the exception of in the evening when you're sleeping. But then if you have a lighter flow, don't wait for that pad to get full because that gut is going to start smelling this tea. And then for my last tip is yeast infections. They have so many causes. Some people lie and say it's solely because of fragrance. For me, I was in the village earlier this year and I really don't know what, what it was, lack of water or whatever. I had the worst yeast infection ever the most uncomfortable experience like it was so itchy it was just so terrible you can literally just go to the pharmacy you don't even have to go to the doctor because i went to the pharmacy and they gave me off that was so scary it was like a syringe thing that i had to insert all the way out and like pump cream in three days like for three days but then it worked so yeast infections are normal don't feel like you're, you're dirty or whatever. Like these infections are completely normal besties. But then I'm just gonna let you guys know that um, self care essentially starts with you knowing that you're deserving of a healthy body, of feeling fresh, of looking good, of smelling good. And I just want you guys to always <laughs> regard yourselves highly. If you haven't started a self care journey, bestie, hop onto it and subscribe to my channel for guidance. <laughs> once again and well that's it for me the South Key Princess I love you guys so 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 much Um, okay, so I feel so overwhelmed with words and I'm here with the principal of the school and thank you so much for having me. It was an amazing, amazing, amazing time. I'm just overwhelmed with joy. I'm at a loss for words, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Clarissa, thank you for being at Eitzig this morning. Our girls were stunned by your message. I believe your impact is going to be even more so in society. Continue this wonderful journey that you lead. So and, and stay this lead in your field of, and having such an impact on society and on our youth. You're much appreciated and I wish you well in your journey. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Guys, can someone please just balance me on what exactly just happened? Like, it's a whole... Nine minutes past ten and I'm questioning my entire existence because what a morning. What a morning. Like God, ten out of ten minus nothing. Like, like I said, I was just excited to do it. I was excited to go there, to share, do my thing and go. Not once did I even like imagine how I would be received. I even was like, you know, not expecting, but then I was like, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, some of the teachers are like, mm, you know, because essentially it was my coffee bean who pitched me and not a teacher. And maybe, you know how influencers can be a shaky topic like, oh, you know, what do they actually do? It's not an actual job and all of that good stuff. But the way I was received was insane. <laughs> And I think that's what's like still overwhelming me right now. I arrived and I arrived quite early. <laughs> and I saw Kagi and she was the sweetest ever. It took me up to the boardroom and I was just chatting up with her, with the head boy, his deputies, with Remo, the head girl, and like some of the RCLs and we're just having like a nice vibe before and I was just like, it's so amazing guys. Like I love high school. I always was like, yo guys, high school kids. But then like they literally changed the perspective because I feel like coming from high school guys, I my high school experience wasn't really the best. So to meet such amazing, I don't want to say kids, amazing young ladies and young gentlemen was like, 
wow like it was so amazing but anyways that aside now um the bell rings and it's time for me to go out to do the whole speech thing it was like a cute little assembly with the girls only and um as soon as i start walking because it was like on the quad they call it and it was outside because they, they were using their hall for something else the auditorium for something else so as soon as i step out of my of the reception and i'm walking up i can already hear like little screams and i'm like oh my word oh my word <laughs> Like, oh my goodness, okay, this is happening because I'm not someone who assumes people know me when I step into a room. I don't think I could ever be that influencer. So, um, even before I was asking Kanye, I'm like, do people know I'm coming? Or she's like, no, it's just us, um, the like the heads, the prefects. Well, they call them RCLs, but they're prefects. Um, it's just us who know that it's you, but then like they don't really know. And I was like, yo, Sana, <laughs> these people are just going to have a girl they've never ever seen just come and talk to them. But literally, the minute I stepped out, little screams everywhere. And I'm like, my coffee beans, my besties, my loves. I was like, yo, guys, I was, I was melting. And then um, going up, giving the, I, I don't know giving the actual i don't want to call it a speech but then like my segment rather um it was just like felt like i was talking to my besties like they were responding it was so engaging and they were so receptive and afterwards as you guys saw um it's taking pictures asking me for tips actually there's a coffee bean i was still talking to and i think we got cut off or anything and she was asking me about eczema so please dm me bestie Please DM me because I feel like we didn't get to have that conversation because like right after my little speech was of co they of course had to go to class and we're trying to get pictures in between and whatever like if I could have spent more time with them I absolutely would have because people could literally just have been like okay thanks for talking to us bye but literally they hung around for some time and I'm even apologizing to the principal I'm like um sorry Dr. Mori um if I'm going over time I just don't want to be like causing commotion if you guys need to go to class go to class because I'm not trying to you know Bob stay in school period so <laughs> that was amazing and then afterwards um I actually realized I didn't get enough pictures with Kanye and Rimo shout out to you girlies but um afterwards I went for like tea with the principal and at first i was also a little bit scared but then you know what even when i first met that man before um the assembly i was really like this is gonna be my bestie such a cool cool guy and him and also one of the other teachers and we just sat and we're just talking you know and the more we spoke the more i felt like you know what this is this is it, man. Like, I feel like every time God gives you a blessing, every time God gives you something huge, which for me in my case is this platform, there's always a responsibility behind it. There's always, there always has to be an, okay, this is nice, but God, why are you giving me this? And it was a question I battled um, with a lot because I feel like influencer space being a YouTuber, being a public figure can be very self-serving. You feel like, oh, don't touch me. Don't talk to me. Do you know who I am? Oh, you want me to come speak? No, let me give you my rate card and you better pay up and invoice this. And no, no, it's really not about that. And our conversation with the principal was actually about paying things forward. Like anything you do in life, like regardless of what industry you are in, even if you're still in school, how are you paying anything forward so it's like even just even just being a tutor you know how in university they have like once you get to second year um you start tutoring the first years i absolutely love that concept because how are you paying it forward and today was just so fulfilling like he even said yo he said so much i wish i was recording him but at the same time you know i mean i'm with <laughs> all the people it's just so disrespectful to just put the tripod there and be like okay keep talking but then he spoke about um omg he gave it to me hold on let me let me oh my goodness guys oh my word so he was talking and he was explaining this whole thing of impact and how like what i'm doing is so important 
and um, even though I was telling him like it's literally my first time like I would want to do this over and over again but it's literally my first time like I wish I'd been doing this all along but like he spoke about how um, he was driving home one night and he saw like a bike and like the light was flashing and um, he came up with this thing that says the harder you pedal not a thing what is it called <laughs> but this Mm -mm, mm -mm, close. So you can't be talking about school and students and be failing like this. Um, the word is going to come back. But he basically came up with a phrase that says, The harder you pedal, the brighter your light will shine. And I just thought this was like the cutest thing. So he gave me, he said every time he meets someone like who comes in, like a guest or whatever, he always gives them. So he gave me this. And one thing about me, I keep things. So best believe I'm going to keep it safe. And, ah. Uh, I feel like him so many and he didn't even just say that but like we went on and on we had tea and everything he was saying was just like everything I've been wanting to do but couldn't even put it into words or put it into action so with all that being said of course thank you to God but with all that being said there is one person who this wouldn't have been possible in any way <laughs> without and that is Kanye girl shout out to you like literally when i went to when i was having the tea with the principal and the teacher um even because the principal had already told me that oh she speaks so highly of you so the teacher was like oh my word she was so persistent and we had such a busy week last week but she was so persistent that you need to have this person coming here and i'm like what guys i've never spoken to her i've never met this girl in my entire life yet she just had so much faith in me and i'm like <gasps> Bestie, what? Girl, thank you so much. You have no idea. This means the world to me. And I feel like you, in you taking the leap of faith, because she's also like such a cute, she's not shy. I think it's just the camera. She's, she's not shy. But she's very cute and very, like a very poised young lady. So um, she's telling me that, yeah, you know, taking that leap of faith to email you because I know you get a lot of emails and whatever. And I'm like, in you doing that, you are also shining your light. You're also doing something amazing because through you now, um, all these girls at, at, at your school got to experience me. And I also got to experience all of you and your teachers and your principal as well. And that is just like, man, God bless you, girl. Like, wow. So you like, you literally don't know what you've done for me. <laughs> like, everyone is like, oh the impact you had on the girls blah 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 i'm like the impact y'all had on me let's start there because you sana i just <laughs> i'm someone who i can't hide my excitement and i can't fake my excitement so you guys could see i mean i even went to go buy a whole outfit for this like if i didn't care i really would have just been like whatever i don't even lay wigs but then Guys, overall, I feel like this vlog can end here. I feel like if I drag it now, like it's just such a good note, such a beautiful note. And who I don't think I'm ever going to forget this day ever. And I'm just so happy that it's going to be on my channel, documented everything. Shout out to Yoliswa also for um, holding the camera, giving me the angles, period. Like everybody was just so, so supportive, man. Like the energy. Guys, in high school, I did not have that. I did not have that and you can't even argue and say it's because it's me no I witnessed them among themselves like the way they relate is just so oh, man. I've been rambling for you ha -ha. not 13 minutes but I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.